Solomon's Island Yacht Club. And Marina. Mill Creek. Calvert's. Your grandpa and Christopher coming up the dock. We'll have to go meet them. Get the old Here's Grandpa Milton and Christopher. Say cheese, Milton. <laughs> Yeah, we're Don't taking a go. moving picture, that's right. And you might even be able to hear us talk. Yeah, at that we'll, rate. We'll get aboard the boat now, Chris. Are you, you going right? aboard, Chris? Want to come aboard? Want me to give you a hand? No, I can do You can take a picture of me doing it. All right, <laughs> and, and, and you can get aboard all by yourself, can't you? Are you going to go aboard, Chris? Uh, on, on board, on, on the boat with me. Go on board the Hermione. Why? Well, I just well, want to get some action. Get a yeah, there he goes. You get your phone call made, Milton? That's what he's going to do. He's going to do that. You need a hand? Yeah, I'll get you a hand. Oh, you're going to make it. Oh, that's good. Fine. Right. That was a struggle, wasn't it? <laughs> a little bit. And what is, what is that? <laughs> That's just me going to wish you. <laughs> Do you and Grandpa get that uh, telephone call made? <laughs> what was that? I'm still shooting, Chris. You want to come back here on the stern? What is that? <laughs> you look like a you look like a hard shell crab to me. Is that what you are? <laughs> what does a crab do with his hands? Yeah. Do you like to catch crabs with nets? That's what I'm doing. I'm glad I'm not getting a picture of you being crabby. <laughs> okay, let me back up and get the stern of Hermione. What? Well, of course it's not. No, that's not an ugly picture. Show me a big smile. You Are you glad to be on Grandpa's boat? Uh, is this a good vacation for you? Good morning. Well, good morning, Helen. What did your mom want? Grandpa. What did mom want? Let me think. Let me think. She wanted you to have breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I had breakfast. I had breakfast. Um, I loaded up all the trash, and now I'm going to take the trash to the Dipsy Dumpster. Oh, well, don't let me detain you. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. Not What's at this all. about thunderstorms? Thunderstorms? I don't see any. Didn't, didn't your dad say we had to leave early because of thunderstorms? Yeah, I know. Looks fine to me. It's the bluest I've seen in the sky. And, uh, so everybody wants to go early? Supposedly. What time is it? That's the rumor. What time is it? Let's see. It's 8.30. This says 8.23, August 29th. Yeah. 
1990. I guess we can go by that. Let me hit fade. And let me hit the... Uh, Christopher, are you staying on shore? No, he's going to come on, on with Granddaddy. More Fender to go in. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'll get the spring line off. Okay, the last line's loose. I guess the cat better get on here. Yeah. <laughs> Later, hold our horse. We're adrift. Okay. Give us a little shove and we're the, gone. The dinghy clear? Uh, the dinghy's secure, yes. Island Yacht Club. I wonder if that's Solomon's Island right there. I guess it is. Anyhow, the Tiki Bar is right by.
morning than it was yesterday. Nearly amazing. There's some classic yacht club Bergie on the bow. Lots of fishing boats around. And here's some Maryland. Looking out the back from the Hein Hermione saying goodbye to Solomon's Island. Too bad we couldn't stay the next week because they're going to have the Thunderbirds here at this Naval Air Station. The Tuxet Naval Air Station? This is the Patuxet River, right? Milton likes to fly flags. It's a good tradition. Especially flying on that one right there. That is going out flag. There's his radar. That's a nice looking place there. It'll probably cost you a million dollars to buy that, at least. Maybe even the simplest one there. These people have a wonderful view of the mouth of the Patuxent River and the Chesapeake Bay. Oh, I do like the sun on the water. Is that the jewel or what? That's the direction we're going. The next river down the bay is the Potomac River, and then we're going to go about 39 miles, three and a half hours up the Potomac. And after uh, five and a half hours of cruising, we'll be in Columbia Beach. That will be the end of the summer's cruise for uh, the Hines family. Never mind. There's the deck house. Just see her at the wheel. And I hope she'll wave at us here. Come on, give us a wave, Eleanor. You know I'm taking your picture. <laughs> She's not gonna do it. Walk down to the port side of Hermione to the stern. Yeah, this is a broadening experience for him, there's no doubt about it. This will change his, his life. It won't, won't be the same if he, as it would have been you know, if he hadn't come here. Do you, have, do you have to talk louder? I can't hear you. What is that around your foot? Is that the, is that the rope that goes down in the well? Huh? No. Hey, 
white caps. Yeah, I got some white caps. You know what that is out there? No, I know it has a solar collection panel on it though. The radar reflector, we're in a gunnery range. Oh, how exciting. A restricted, restricted area. I guess they're not shooting today though. Official business for the government, so they don't get their big camera. So that's enough talking. Daddy! Mommy, Daddy! Give me that camera back, I told you. Promise. Give me that camera. This one. Share with you? Share! Well, I'm happy to share with you, Chris. You know that. But I want you to share with me now. Side. We're off uh, Dahlgren. It's called Dahlgren on the uh, radio. They said they weren't shooting today, so we could come on by their place on the Potomac and make our way into Colonial Beach. I guess that's Dahlgren over there. On that shore, this Potomac River it sure is hazy and calm today. This is the Virginia shore. There's the boy we just passed. Here comes Christopher. He wants the camera, but I can't give it to him now because I'm taking pictures. Here's the Maryland shore. 
stay close to your mom there. And we'll get a little picture here. I don't know if I can pick out your dad in the deck house. What are you hiding from, Chris? Let's see if I can get Milton on here in the deck house. Everybody was terrified. Women were screaming, children were screaming, and everyone evacuated the area. There was no water, no food, everyone was scared. I saw a man killed in front of my eyes. Sharpnel ripped into his stomach and out of his back. All the children were terrified. We were terrified. When we went to Baghdad, it was the same, the same raids, the same attacks, constant bombing. And the next day, the refinery exploded, and we were terrified. It's still burning now. I decided to get out. I was sure we were going to die. When the bombardment was around us, we really thought we were going to die. But they didn't fall on us. They fell on government installations. Even so, we thought they were going to fall on our heads. I tried to control my fear in front of the children, to reassure the children so they wouldn't be terrified, so they wouldn't panic. We heard explosions at the airport in Mosul and at the generating station in front of us. Bombs fell on civilian streets. Houses collapsed. The explosions were very close. One residential street was bombed. Five houses were destroyed. Five families destroyed. I was coming back from the market in Basra. The road was closed. I couldn't get in. But the senior officer finally let us pass. As I went through, I saw five airplanes. They shot down three. I saw it with my own eyes. I heard they caught a Saudi Arabian piloting a French plane, and they cut off his right ear as an Arabic symbol. Of course, the situation is unstable. We were scared. We were worried about the children. They can't sleep at night. We turn off all the lights and sat in the garden every night. So if an attack happened, the house wouldn't collapse on top of us. Our fields are planted, full of crops, and the house is full, the whole house. We lift everything in it. Now my faith is in God. At least my family is safe. And 6,000 were combat support, such as refueling and command and control. Our allies flew approximately 15% of these missions during the first six days of note. You should also note, note that Gutter flew combat missions for the first time. Their missions occurred yesterday, and they struck Scud missile storage shelters in Kuwait. The coalition continued.